All right, once again, we're covering a breaking story. Fire breaking out tonight at the same house in Jeanette where there was a triple shooting last week. Let's go live now to Pam Serrano. Pam. Ken, one week ago tonight, we were standing in the city of Jeanette, just a couple of blocks from where we are right now, when uh, there was a shooting, a triple shooting, as you mentioned, on Kyler Avenue in Jeanette. One man was killed in that shooting. Two others were injured. Those suspects have still not been caught, and tonight a fire broke out in that same exact house. Let's bring in the fire chief with the city of Jeanette, Bill Fry, who tells us what you saw when you arrived on scene tonight. We were actually dispatched at a little couple minutes after 8 p.m. tonight. City police on patrol actually noticed the fire and they wanted to call it in. So that was a good thing to get that early jump on the fire. They saw it early and called it in to get us started. When we arrived, there was uh, heavy fire conditions in the basement of the residence, uh, venting out a couple windows in the rear. Uh, obviously, there's a balloon wood frame building, so we had concerns with the fire going up the walls, which it did, and it made it the whole way up to the attic. We were able to make an interior attack, make a stop on it, and actually prevent it from spreading to the nearby houses that are only a few feet away. Chief Fry, thank you so much. No indication right now if there's any connection between that shooting and also the fire, but we know that a 29 year old man died in that shooting last week. And uh, this fire, the fire marshal has been called to investigate the fire on Kyler Avenue in the city of Jeanette tonight. I'm Pam Serrano reporting live for KDK News in the city of Jeanette.